Hey, what's up, guys? Back here for another video. We got Mark Boy 316 here once again, hey. and we're gonna be doing our top five favorite divas. My first one is actually a newer one, and that is Asuka. Yep. She's really good wrestler, and she's pretty attractive. I find she's pretty attractive. And the next one that's actually a pretty good wrestler too, and actually pretty attractive, is Nikki Bella. Now the the other three I'm gonna say are pretty much older ones. First we got we got Lita. She was really good in the ring. She's really really good. I I, I really like watching her uh, wrestling. Her her theme her theme's good too. Yeah, when she came with the Hardy, it was awesome. And then we got then we got uh we got Trish Stratus. Yeah. That was another good one. And uh, all these women I'm pretty much saying are all pretty much attractive. And then my my very very last one that I'm gonna pick is Tori Wilson. I used to have this uh, this magazine, this Divas in Heat, whatever, and it had quite a bit of pictures in there and stuff. And there was a really nice one of Stacey Keebler in there. But yeah, it was, um, those are my top five. You want to let me know what your top five are? Be sure to let us know. Now we're gonna let Mark Boy let you know what his top five are. All right, uh, for me, number five, obviously, like you said, Lita, when she came with the Hardy Boys, awesome, Team Extreme, and she was great in the ring. She could do moonsaults off the top and all that. She, she was awesome. Oh, yeah, she was cool. Uh, Trish coming in at number four because uh, she came in as a manager. She couldn't really wrestle that much, and then she learned how to fall. She learned how to take bumps. Awesome. She became a multi-time women's champion. Awesome. Uh, coming in at number three, for me, I would have to say Charlotte Flair, she wrestles pretty damn well, pretty well and good, of course. The daughter of Ric Flair, you can learn how to wrestle. Uh, number uh, two for me well, is going to be, I am going to say, who can I pick from the current day? Oh my goodness gracious, I said Charlotte Flair, but I'm going to say, I'm going to go with him, I'm going to say Asuka. I like, she was undefeated in NXT, and then as soon as she hit the main roster, boom, she, she went downhill, but... Well, she she's all she's also in the ring. She she's good. Vince wasn't too happy when she won. No, and uh, he doesn't like uh, people who can't speak English uh, correctly, and she can't speak English too well. So that's why she's not doing a push. But all right. And for my last one, I am gonna say, hmm, who would be my number one all time? Let's see. I always liked Victoria. She was good. Victoria, yeah. Victoria, I, I liked her. She, she could wrestle. The Widow's Peak, when she used to hit that move, holy crap, it, you know it was over. She was good. She was Terra in, in DNA. But yeah, she uh, she was good. I liked her. So those are my top five. And what the hell, Mazel will put an honorable mention. I'll say probably Molly Holly. Ooh, ooh she, she, was a, she was a good wrestler. Yeah, she, well, was, she was a good wrestler. She's on the radar, though. Not too many people actually talk about her. She, she She's a name that you haven't heard in a long time. And I, I'll add Mickey James in there, too. She, she was going back in the day too, and she's still wrestling to this day. Actually, on the, on the cover of roster. So that is our top five. I just want to appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for clicking this video, for you taking your time or day to watch this video, and we'll check in the next one. And peace.